What's up, Coastal Virginia? It's back at the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. My name is Dan Inman, and we are gonna talk about downtown Norfolk living. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. We talk, eat, live, work, play, good, bad, ugly of the coastal Virginia area. For the locals, it's probably more like the 757. And for maybe the people who've been here for a long time, they call it the Tidewater area or something along those lines. But we call it the Coastal Virginia channel because that's makes more sense to me. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about what's downtown living in Norfolk. But before we get to that, uh, if you'll hit the little subscribe button and it'll let you know when we release new content like this. Uh, if you hit that little like notification or like button down at the bottom, it panders to my ego a little bit and lets me know that uh, I'm putting out the content that you find useful. If you are looking at moving into the area or out of the area and you want that process to be as smooth and painless as possible, again, I'm a local realtor. My wife is a loan officer. We work a lot of time together as a team to make that process seamless. Our contact information is down below. We are the people that respond to that and we'd love to hear from you. So what is it like to live in downtown Norfolk? Let's talk about it. cover a couple things what's the nightlife what's entertainment uh, what kind of food can you expect grocery stores cost of living uh, what's nearby what is there to do so let's go ahead and hit uh, cost of living for let's say housing um, so obviously you have two things you can do you can do renting or you can do ownership uh, I included a link to two different uh, apartment buildings downtown. I think one is called the Icon and the other is the Rockefeller Center. Um, both of these buildings have phenomenal touches, right? If you don't want to own and you want the flexibility of being able to put off maintenance repairs um, and a bunch of things included in your rent, like security and maybe a pool, uh, you want to, um, a lot of times this includes Wi-Fi and sometimes even water, uh, but you don't want to have to worry about maintenance and repairs. The Icon building and Rockefeller Center are probably some of the best that Norfolk has to offer. The average rent for downtown Norfolk is going to be somewhere between $1,200 for the smallest you know, studio apartment, all the way up to if you want to actually have your family live downtown, three, four bedrooms, you might be up in the $4,500 or even $5,000 a month rent range. But what would it look like maybe to buy a condo or a townhome uh, in downtown Norfolk or maybe the Freemason area? Well, this is gonna range pretty widely. Uh, you have the, again, the smallest of the smallest is gonna be somewhere in the entry level of 175 to 200,000. You have to do remember that many of these condo buildings do come with condo fees, and so you need to account for that in your monthly cost. Um, I would say the average range, uh, so the difference between median and average um, is, you know, average is the take everything, add it together, and you know, divide it by the total number that you have there. Median is literally you take all those things and you pick the middle one. Um, there's not a lot of variance here, but really, uh, the average for downtown Norfolk is going to be somewhere between three and five hundred thousand. Really, kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, in the Freemason area, there are row homes, townhomes, and like big old McMansions. Um, that could be range all the way up into a million dollar range, but the average, this kind of the sweet spot there is probably between three and $500,000. All right, let's roll into uh, food, all right? Uh, one of my favorite categories. Unfortunately, you can see that pretty easily, uh, but one of the, I'd say one of the main detractors of uh, downtown Norfolk is that we don't have an actual downtown grocery store. Uh, if you want groceries, you now a lot of people during COVID-19 have done delivery, um, and it's you know relatively cheap to do so. 
Uh, but if you want to go to the in-store experience, you basically have three options. You have one, the Harris Teeter down there on Colonial, which is about a mile away. Harris Teeter is a great option, good food options, and that store is really well kept and nice and clean, big parking lot. I never had an issue finding parking there. Uh, your next two options are going to be Aldi, and Aldi's kind of, if you've never been to an Aldi or Lidl, Lidl uh, it is a discount kind of store where they have extra produce, super affordable, they have a lot of great options there. We shop there on occasion. If you're looking for a more upscale experience or maybe upscale options where they have uh, specialty items or things that uh, maybe farm, not farm fresh, but Harris Teeter and Aldi don't have, uh, the Fresh Market is a great option uh, over there on 21st Street. Um, both Aldi and Fresh Market are about two miles away, so you know, with traffic a max of 10 minutes. But hey, you wanted to live downtown because you wanted to be everything to be walkable and close. So I would say that is one of the main detractors of downtown Norfolk is they don't have an actual specific grocery store downtown. Rolling into a few food options. So I would say Norfolk out of all of the seven cities probably has one of the best selections of a variety of food and quality of food. Uh, but a few notable mentions I think that are worth talking about. One is the stock pot, which is like your Southern comfort food, but uh, maybe a little bit of a healthy twist. We actually did an interview there with our uh, I Love COVID podcast. So maybe Sean will put a link down below of the podcast you can listen there. Oh, by the way, uh, that podcast and the giveaways associated with that podcast are only available in our private Facebook group. That link will also be down in the description. It is the I Love Coastal Virginia and Small Businesses Group hosted by Inman Home Services, which happens to be my company. Um, but if you want access to the giveaways that are tied in with that podcast, the only way you can get access to it is in that private Facebook group. Uh, Jack Brown's Burger Joint is another one that's really good. They also have some good nightlife there. Um, they have a burger called the, um, the Molly Dooker, which is kind of slang for someone who's left-handed that is absolutely phenomenal. Freemason Abbey would be a fantastic, maybe upscale uh, restaurant to go to. I think, Sean, you guys went there for your anniversary, didn't you? Yep. What did you have when you got there? Uh, I think I had the steak. Yeah? Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah, fantastic. Probably not as good as my steak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting words. What did you say? One last one here, um, and I totally apologize if I'm mispronouncing this, Lameas Lameas crepes. Uh, if you're into crepes. Just say, I love crepes. No. Just to put this in there, yeah. I had a whole mess of crepes this morning. They're just like pancakes, maybe even better. Wait, are they the really thin pancakes? Yeah. Yes, they are. They are the really thin pancakes. It's just a French word for them. Oh my God, I love Whatever those. Whatever syrups you want on them and stuff. I'm just saying, think about it. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's see, there's one with like cinnamon. Oh, what is the name of it? Um, I can't remember and I feel awful because I've had it several times. Really good. Anyway, if you like crepes, Lemayus crepes or Lemayus crepes is a, uh, a fantastic place. Let's roll on to transportation. So there are plenty of ways to get around downtown. Notably, we do have uh, Lime scooters. So if you have the app where you can download that and uh, ride around on an electric scooter for pretty cheap. We also have electric bikes um, that you can rent for downtown. Uh, we do have Uber and Lyft and a taxi system downtown. If you're into uh, biking to and from work and or are looking at going downtown to other places, say in Ghent, uh, there are bike lanes available to make that transit nice and safe. For you people that are out there and love to run, which I don't know why you would want to run or do jogging, uh, we have the Elizabeth River Trail, a fantastic trail that starts all the way from where like the Tide Stadium is and goes all the way to Larchmont. Uh, and that's a fantastic little trail. We have the HRB HRT, the Hampton Roads Transit System, which is mixed with buses, and there are actually a few electric buses along with that that the city has rolled out. Uh, we do have the light rail, which rolls all the way from like EVMS and Centera all the way to Military Circle, and that goes through downtown. All right, let's talk nightlife, bars, and entertainment. Uh, let's start at the north, let's, let's talk about the Scope. So the Scope is a uh, arena, it's hosted things like the Barnum Bailey Brothers Circus, it has had WWE, uh, you know, <laughs> competitions there. I believe there's been MMA there. There's a lot of comedians that come in town. Uh, I went and went and saw Jim Gaffigan, um, and he talked about Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets! 
Uh, and then uh, I want to say the admirals also play there. Is that the admirals play there, right? Yep. Okay, I'm not misspeaking. Yes, the admirals play there, which is our uh, hockey league for Norfolk. Speaking of sports, um, you are a short ride down to the Tide Stadium, which is our minor league baseball stadium. Um, I've been there several times. Now, baseball is not my thing, but hey, I can go and eat a wonderful hot dog, funnel cake, and a beer while watching the slowest and most boring sport on earth. <laughs> laughing. 100%. It's true. Um, it may be America's pastime, but it's boring. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's uh, maybe if you have a more refined taste, you're looking for entertainment, you've got the Virginia Opera, the Virginia Symphony, uh, you have um, the Chrysler Museum, um, which has one of the largest art collections in the world there, um, or glass art collections in the world, and there's fantastic um, glass studio where you can go in there and watch them do it and or take a class to learn how to do that as well. Next, I think a notable mention would be the NEON District. NEON stands for New Energy of Norfolk. It really is just Norfolk's new emerging arts district. Um, Commune is there, which I mentioned previously. They have a comedy club um, and then they have plenty of uh, festivals and art studios. Uh, if you are into the new art scene, that area is going to be for you. Uh, under that, I would also include bars, and a few notable mentions here would be Sanctuary, which has uh, pretty good tacos and a great selection of drinks. You have the Green Norfolk, which I was talking about earlier, which is a rooftop beer garden and lounge area. I think they have fantastic food, and going there, if you want to take a, a really good date, uh, go during the spring or fall season when the weather is fantastic, and do dinner at like sun to set. Oh man, talk about romantic. Romantic. Uh, I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you are a reader, we Slover Library was uh, built, I wanna say 2016? <laughs> built in 2015. Uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there's plenty of um, restaurants that surround that that are worth going to. Um, and then I just think architecturally, the place is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we are going to link down a PDF down in the description, which is put out by the city, which is the downtown guide to Norfolk. Um, and there's a really cool little uh, graphic that shows where everything is at. Let's talk real quick about shopping. Uh, you have the MacArthur Mall, which has a ton of shopping. For you millennials, I know you need the Apple Store, which they have one, and they have an indoor putt-putt. And lastly, I'd like to mention uh, Festivants and Town Point Park in slash Waterside. So Town Point Park slash Waterside is, I would say, one of the main attractions of downtown Norfolk. Um, there are plenty of places to eat in there. Uh, we, their fireworks are set off for 4th of July. Uh, Fest Events puts on Norfolk Harbor Fest there. There's a jazz festival. There's a wine and beer festivals that are put on there. It is a major attraction for the area. Uh, you have the Nauticus and Battleship Wisconsin, which are right next door. Um, but when you're looking at for uh, entertainment and engagement of the community, Town Point Park is by far one of the biggest attractions of that area. All right, so hey, that's everything living in downtown Norfolk. Did I forget something? Should I have included something? Was something in there completely worthless? Let me know down in the comments below. If you do me a favor, again, hit that like button. lets me know I'm putting out content that you like. And if you'd like to see more, well, you can hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification. Those come out on Mondays and Fridays for now. And until next time, actually not until next time, Sean's gonna look at me weird because I always forget to do this. Hey, I am an active realtor in the area. I'd love to help you and your family. I am the person that responds to the contact information that is right here. Uh, and we'd love to serve your family, help move in and out of the area as smooth as possible. My wife works on the loan side, which is just on the other side of the wall here. And she helps do all the loan and mortgage side of that. So uh, we are the people that respond to that. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.